Joseph. Hey, Dejan. I was uh, I was curious. La last night after the game, uh, you shared a, a, a story about something that had happened with you and a friend earlier in the week, and and you dedicating that game to him. Can you share a little bit of, of what exactly, you know, how you know uh, your friend and and just kind of what what happened uh, to him? Um, his name is Tristan Eggerson. Um, I actually met him when I um, we were in tenth grade together. Um, at McDonald 35 High School in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, became good friends. Now he's like my brother. Um, but two days ago, um, he, he suffered with um, a, a brain aneurysm. Um, and the story when he actually went to his mom, uh, feeling, a, a, um, you know, a stomach pain, a rare stomach pain that, you know, he never felt before. Um, his mom rushed him to the hospital. Um, hospital... Um, gave him morphine and, you know, it just um, all went down here from there. Um, say he started to have blurred vision um, and he kind of broke out really bad. And, you know, they had to rush him to uh, the emergency room, you know, for him to get a brain surgery. And um, obviously the brain, um, the surgery didn't go well. Um, and he was pronounced brain dead. And, uh, you know, right now he's on a um, breathing machine fighting for his life. Um, and they said they're giving them to Monday to try to wake up. And, you know, to me, I think it's not fair mm, for them to do that. Um, I think they should give him, you know, the, the the amount of time that he needs to to wake up because, you know, miracles are real. So, um, you know, I'm praying for him. And like I said last night, I hope everyone's praying for him. Um, he's a good person. Um, you know, he never gets in any trouble. Actually has a... Um, um, a broadcasting job um, with the Saints, like an um, a internship that he, that he just received. He's, he just graduated from McNeese um, this year. Um, so, um, just, just like I did, I, I graduated in December. Um, he graduated in December, and, you know, he has a promise in life, and I, I just hope he's able to, you know, wake up from this. Thanks, Dejan. We'll keep him in our thoughts as well. Appreciate Next it. Next question is for Andy Yanez of the Cougar. Hey, Dejan, uh, Kelvin Sasson just talked about how uh, during the COVID pauses and throughout the season that he, the seniors, they, they kind of divided y'all up to be in contact with the freshmen. Can you talk about that and really what, what were your messages to the freshmen and, and really the seniors as a whole? Um, you know, just telling them how important, you know, college basketball is, you know, coming from high school, you know, it's not the same. You know, the game is uh, way faster and you, you know, you have to limit your mistakes. You know, high school basketball, you can make a bunch of mistakes and still be able to win. But in college, you know, these guys are way better players, um, way smarter. And, you know, you just have to thank this game um, in order to win. You know, just trying to tell them about my experiences, um, you know, playing college basketball. You know, it's my fourth year playing college basketball. And, you know, I've, I've seen a lot and been through a lot, you know, playing this game. In, and, you know, just trying to get them ready for the season. And um, I think me and, me and the three other seniors, we did a very good job in preparing them. And, you know, it's helped us um, get to this point today. Was there a specific player that, that you had to reach out to? Um, you know, um, not really. All of, all of the freshmen and, and, and the newcomers, um, you know, I felt like each one of them was going to be vital to our success. Um, and, you know, we're, we're a team and we need everyone. Thanks. Our next question is going to be from Matt Musel of KHOU. Hey, John. Uh, you? How are you doing today? Uh, okay. uh, Kelvin was just talking about uh, how you guys in the hotel, of course, you've been a close-knit group all season, but it's it seems like you've gotten even closer. And uh, he talked about the road trips and such, and then being uh, – being there in the hotel, um, uh, basically under quarantine when it's not a quarantine, but just hanging out together, you have a commons area where you're popping popcorn and yeah. seeing one another. I just would like to, if you could just tell us what the family atmosphere has been, because sometimes family have fights when they're together, but uh, 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 Kelvin says, no, it's just you've grown, grown closer and closer together. Um, you know, we have a, a very special group of guys, um, you know, we have a lot of um, um, good-hearted um, people on this team. 
um, you know, before this point, we always, you know, go out together and, you know, do a lot of stuff outside of basketball together, whether it's, you know, hanging out, you know, in our dorm rooms or, you know, going somewhere to eat or just doing little stuff like that. So, you know, us being in um, this hotel trapped together is not really that bad. Um, you know, we have a lot of different personalities, um, you know, whether it's comedians, uh, you know, just someone who just likes to be by themselves. But, you know, just being in this situation, everyone wants to be around each other and just, you know, make the days go by faster. Um, you know, we're in each other's rooms, cracker jokes, playing the games together. Um, all of us have a gaming system. So, you know, we're online playing together with our headsets, talking to each other. So, you know, it makes those days go by faster. And like I said, um, you know, nobody have a problem with each other. We, we just love being around each other. Who's the funniest on the team? Uh, I'll probably say Justin and, and Bryson for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right, let's go you. back to Mark Berman of the Fox affiliate in Houston. Hey, Dejan, Mark Berman from Fox Houston. How are you, man? How you doing? I'm good. good. So what, what, what are some of the things that uh, we could get to the kind of the breaking the Oregon State down? What are some of the challenges they offer that you've been told by the coaching staff? Um, you know, they're a very, very physical team. Um, you know, have great guards and a, 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 a great big man, you know, and a great four man who rebounds the ball very well. Um, they shoot the ball well, um, you know, able to get in the paint um, with their drives, and they have a great shooter. Um, and, you know, we just have to do a great job of defending the three-point line and, you know, trusting the game plan that our coaches come up with. Um, and I feel like if we, you know, do those things and, you know, continue to play to our roots, our culture, we'll put ourselves in a great position. What does it mean to you that some of the guys from the uh, Five Slamma Jamma era, Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Young, Reed Geddes, are very proud of what y'all were doing and, and thrilled, thrilled with your with your success to date? Um, you know, well, it means a lot because, you know, this um, basketball here at uh, University of Houston, you know, um, it had a, 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 a little fall off from, you know, getting to a national level and, you know, to see those guys proud to, you know, uh, be able to root for us again, um, you know, trying to follow in their footsteps, you know, what they did back in the 80s. Um, you know, just trying to, you know, trying to keep it going and, you know, trying to bring excitement back to the city and the university. Well, I was, I was right, huh? the, the 80s, right? That's right. All right. Yeah. You got it. All right. <laughs> Good job, Dejan. Our next question is from Brian Smith from the Houston Chronicle. Hey, Dejan, you, you often talk about culture and, and the team part of it, the family part of it. How much does having Kellen and Lauren and, and, and Kelvin create, you know, incorporating his family into the family that is a team. How much does that create that atmosphere? Um, you know, it, it plays a big role because, you know, you have a, um, your family, you know, your family away from your family. Um, you know, no one's left behind, you know, if you need anything, um, you know, you can always call on one of them to try to, you know, make it right for you or fix it. Um, it just makes everything better and just, it, it, it just makes, you know, being, um, at college more easier, you know, you don't really have to call home. Um, you know, you feel a, the, the family atmosphere, you know, while you're here, um, you know, everyone loves each other. Um, as I, as I always say, even, you know, from the teammates to the staff, you know, everyone's close. You can call on any coach, you know, any time of the day, you know, ask them questions or, you know, just, you know, if you need anyone to talk to, you know, they're there for you. We have another question from Patrick Waring. Patrick, you can unmute yourself and proceed with your question for Dejan Giroux of the Houston Cougars. Hey, Dejan, uh, Patrick Waring from the NBS Sports Hour. Uh, I just want to ask you about you personally. I know you've been you've been toughing through a lot of things to get to this point. And, and you know, yesterday at the end of the game or uh, last night, um, how are you feeling physically right now? And what types of things are you doing? try to get yourself prepared to play? Um, you know, I'm feeling great. Um, you know, credit to my family for, you know, raising me, you know, as a tough young man, you know, just trying to get through anything I go through, you know, not trying to let, you know, anything bring me down. Um, really, you know, controlling when I, what I can control. You know, if I can't control it, then, you know, I try not to, you know, bring myself down and, you know, let it ruin my day, uh, you know, whatever that may be. But, you know, just trying to um, win each day, you know, as it approaches. Um, 
And, you know, it's a credit to, like I said, my family and the coaching staff here. Um, you know, just making me into, you know, the young man I am today. Um, you know, as I always talk about being here, you know, I matured a lot and, you know, and I grew up into, you know, a very, you know, great young man. Thank you. We have another question from Joseph Duarte of the Houston Chronicle. Joseph, you're up next. Dejan, um, I know you guys are focused on your games, but the bracket that you're in, the, the region as a whole, it's, it's sort of been one of the, the more chaotic ones in terms of some of the teams that have been knocked out. And, and apparently you guys have a chance to be the first team ever to reach a Final Four without having to play a team that was a single digit in the tournament, uh, uh, in your bracket. Or, uh, is that just kind of strange or weird that the way things work out sometimes, you never know who can win any of these games, but that there have been so many upsets just in your region? Um, you know, it, it isn't strange at all because, you know, it's, it's great college basketball players all around the world. So, you know, anybody can lose at it, uh, any given day. So, you know, it just, you know, probably that night, it wasn't uh, that team night and it was another team night. So, you know, it's great players all around. Everyone wants to win. You know, everyone comes every game and gives it, gives it their all. So, you know, you never know how it's going to go. But, you know, I'm grateful for us to be in this position. And, you know, like I said, we just control the way we can control. Um, that's not our problem. But, you know, like I said, we're grateful. 